Hey guys, it's uh, Roland Dukey here. Welcome to Sunday Technicals, the 8th of November 2020. Time now is just about 2200 hours or so. So we're looking at the Nasdaq 100 and we all know guys that this is a major asset that moves like crazy. We're looking at the four hour time frame and what do we have? We've seen how NAS has been from the 13th of October in a downtrend up and down obviously within this uh, trend lines and then around the 3rd of November which was election day we had NAS break through this uh, upper trend line went into a buy you can see a four hour candle there's one two three four five six seven and eight four hour candles all closed in in, in bullish and we have come to a price of about 12,104 where we see that the candles started turning down one two three red candles which is a black crow that's regarded as a pattern and then we see the candles closed at uh, uh, 12 104.40 uh, on, on, on a green candle so what do we have and what are we expecting on the open of the market well, the market will be opening in a few hours' time. The guys on our team, we know that we are expecting a dump, but who knows? I mean, we know it's going to be a dump, but maybe the market thinks otherwise. We just go with how the market goes because the market, we've made it to be our friend. So if the market dumps, this is what we are planning to do at 11.954.70, which is based on a few options, but worked on 23.6% on Fibonacci, we will take a sell order. So if that triggers and if that falls, we've got TP1, TP2, and the champions TP3 as follows, 11.236, 10.957, and we have 10.674. So the first TP will give us about 700 pips. Then the next one will give us just about a thousand pips. And guys, when you're in profit already, start to move a stop loss in place. So trail stop your, your, your prices, your stop loss to trail stop. And then we will continue to be in profit in the event that price pulls back or has a, a reversal. You will close your, your stop loss in profit. And guys, you will never be sitting and looking at another loss again and then we also have a tp3 which is at 10674 which which is our september low so guys we know it is not impossible price could get there but depends how the market reacts towards the election knowing that uh joe has won the election the the, the results are in the news and the media has been putting it all over the screens but how the market reacts is how we should just befriend the market and make the profits accordingly then we have another scenario what if the market does not react in a negative way but reacts in a positive way which means that election was good for the for nasdaq then let's just go to another option and there we have it okay let's look at look at how nas would would react so we would wait for uh, the market to go up right from here but right now i can tell you if we were to take a buy where we're sitting at it could even go up to 12,000 some change or even uh, 12,500 or even 12,600 but who knows if we take a buy right now and the market then starts to pull back we're gonna land ourselves in trouble so i would suggest the first and foremost is wait for the market to have a pullback to our 23.6 percent on our fibonacci which is a buy entry of 11265. If we have a buy entry of 11265, then confidently we can take our TPs at 11983, which is our Fibonacci of 78% uh, or so. And that's easy 700 uh, pips, guys. And then we will go into TP2, which is at 11873, TP3 at 12,200, which is like almost a thousand pips of profit. But guys, remember what I'm saying. We've got to wait for that pull back down to 11265 wait for that right now it's better not to be in a trade than to be hasty and take a trade and and jump into it and and take a buy when the market opens not knowing how the market is going to react so wait until it comes down to your 11265 in that region you take your buys you have tp1 tp2 and tp3 tp3 as i said is giving us a thousand pips worth of profit and then you know what tp4 that's not impossible we know it can be done uh we can make 12,617 as our tp4 mark that's over 1,352 pips of profit so guys let's just be patient if you're in a sell 
yes, we can make our profit if you're in a buy or if you want to uh, put in a buy order, uh, wait until the price pulls back. And then also not forgetting we have a few important aspects of uh, fundamentals uh, this week. Fundamentals, we know that it affects our trades for the 5, 10, 15, 20, or even 30 minutes, or it even pulls back to the low of the day and starts to pull back in the direction that it went into. But sometimes the fundamentals make our trades go miserable, and sometimes the fundamentals can blow some of our people's accounts. So just pay attention to some of the fundamentals we have. Let's look at what we have. Okay, let's start with Tuesday. Tuesday, job openings. Very interesting. Job openings in America is a major impact on the market. Job openings creates income for household members. Income for household members creates purchase of motor vehicles, purchase of consumables, purchase of, of uh, services that's being rendered by, by companies and creates uh, purchases of home sales, etc. So that's where job openings makes an impact. And then we have on Wednesday, we have the oil report, which is the OPEC oil report at 1 p.m. Guys, these are all South African time. Uh, so then at uh, Wednesday at 4.30 p.m., the Seville Cushing oil report as well. Thursday at 15.50, we have the consumer price index. And we all know the consumer price index. It measures the price of goods and services from the cust uh, customer's perspective of, of things. And then also on Thursday at 3.30 p.m., we have the initial job loss claims. You guys know that this is my favorite. We always have been hitting it on the target for the last few months now. Uh, so guys, just pay attention to that. Even if you put a big lot size with a small t t pips or small TP, we can make sufficient money on initial job loss claims. And then also guys at 1800 hours is a crude oil inventories. Uh, Friday we have at 3.30 the PPI, which is a producer price index. This measures uh, the change of goods by the by the manufacturers. So the manufacturers that produce goods, uh, remember we spoke about labor costs last week. So the labor cost goes up, so services goes up. Uh, labor cost goes up, cost of production goes up. If the cost of production goes up, then people's got to be paying more for, for vehicles, paying more for consumables, etc. So one affects the other. So guys, pay attention to your trades. For those of you guys that know that certain trades are a certain direction and you are 100% guys with all the blessings you have, go ahead and put your trades. And for those of you guys that are doubtful on those of, of you guys that are concerned, just go with small lot sizes and, and then make a trade, whether it's a, a dollar profit or whether it's a hundred to hundred dollars profit, it is still profit. But guys, I have a wonderful week ahead. I promise you guys, this is going to be a blessed week. We know for sure this is going to be a profitable trading week. We'll give you an update, if not midweek or so, maybe about Friday or even next week, Sunday as well. We'll give you an update of the technicals again. So guys, pay attention to what's happening on the market. Keep your ears uh, peeled to the ground and, and, and hear what's happening in terms of elections and stimulus, etc. We will chat to you and give you updates as well as uh, the, the market changes. Take care and bye for now.